Okay, here we go. Blueberry oatmeal squares. Found this one in the Canadian Living Magazine website. Starting off in a medium-sized saucepan over medium-high heat. Place one-third of a cup of orange juice. And to this, add one-half cup of granulated sugar. You're going to need some blueberries, of course. Three cups of fresh blueberries. I bet you you could also substitute frozen for this. I'm using wild blueberries. These are blueberries that we actually picked ourselves. I live in northern Ontario, Canada. In my part of northern Ontario, uh, there are a lot of wild blueberries. And I made a video back in 2008 with me picking the blueberries. So I'll insert a little clip of that here so you can see. Hi, everyone. It's Yo Max 12, and I'm blueberry picking right now. This is the mountain where I usually go pick blueberries. It's very near where my parents live and where I grew up. And this lake that you see is the lake that I grew up on. And here are the blueberries. This is my secret spot where I usually come pick every year. And we're still very early in the year, so there's still lots of um, green ones, as you can see. So I came up here just to see how they were coming along. And they are coming along quite nicely. Oh, very green ones. Here are the blueberries. So you hold, go like that. Put them between your fingers and you kind of roll them off with your thumb. And your hand, that's my technique anyway. basket. You'll notice right away that the blueberries, once they're washed and they're handled a bit, they lose that powdery blue color that they had when they're freshly picked off the plant. So stir it all together over medium-high heat until it starts to boil, just like it's doing right here. Once it starts to boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer gently for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Now to thicken it up, you're going to take four teaspoons of cornstarch and add two tablespoons of water to that in a little bowl. Stir that together until all the lumps are gone. And then while stirring, pour it into the simmering blueberries and continue to stir. Bring it back to a boil and cook it until it's thickened. And it doesn't take long. It's only about a minute or two before it starts to thicken up. Then you're going to take it off the heat and then put a piece of plastic wrap on the surface and then put it in the refrigerator for about an hour to cool. The plastic wrap will keep a skin from forming on the surface of the blueberry filling. Let that cool and then we're going to prepare the topping and the base for this. In a large bowl, place two and a half cups of rolled oats, one and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour, and a tablespoon of grated orange rind. Stir that together. You could probably use the instant oats for this. Uh, it asks for rolled oats and not instant, but I'm sure either one could work quite nicely for this. Then add one cup of cold butter that's been cubed. Now you need to cut the butter into the oat mixture. And you can use a pastry cutter like I have here. Cutting in means just to break the butter up into small pieces. And I realize at this point that I forgot the sugar and I need to add three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar, which I should have added with the oats at the beginning. If you don't have a pastry cutter, you can just use two butter knives and like in a scissor action, just break up the butter and continue to stir it. You basically want to break that butter up so there's no more large pieces of butter and that's well combined in with the flour and the oatmeal. And you can even use your fingers to do this if you'd like. You're going to end up with something that looks like coarse crumbs. It's not going to come together like a cookie dough. It's going to be kind of dry looking, but that's okay. Grease an 8 by 11 inch pan or an 8 by 8 inch pan with cooking spray. Put in half of the mixture in the bottom of it and then just lightly press it down. And then you're going to pour on the blueberry mixture that you made, the filling. Spread it out and then put the remaining oatmeal crumbs on the top. Spread it out gently. You can leave it just like this. However, the recipe says to gently press down on it. So that's what I did just to make sure that the topping has contact with the filling. Then you're going to place in a 350 degree oven and 
Bake it until it's light golden brown, about 45 minutes. Let it cool and then cut it into squares. This was delicious. The top and bottom get a little bit crunchy and then you have that nice, moist, sweet blueberry filling. I found that after a day or so, if you cover it, uh, the crust in the top will get a little bit soggy. They will soften just a little bit, but it's still delicious. It's a great recipe to use up some blueberries that you may have. And what's nice about it is that you can vary the amount of sugar in this and you can even substitute it with some kind of artificial sweetener like Splenda if you can't have all that sugar. So blueberry oatmeal squares, give it a try.